destination in the world with 82 million tourists per year. So if we can have Uganda have many, many more uh, tourists here, we'll be more than welcome to provide any help uh, we can. So this history takes us from September 2016, oh, thank you very much, to, uh, to today. Of course, uh, this takes a bit of a process. Uh, we signed an MOU with the Vice Chancellor at the University of Macquarie to, uh, to, to have a, a space here. And I would like to, to really be extremely grateful to the First Lady especially, because she's been pushing very hard for this initiative to happen. Of course, the President, but also the University of Macquarie. It's not easy to uh, find an extra space for someone new <coughs> to come here. So we are extremely grateful, especially to the First Lady and, and the Vice Chancellor. Thank you so much for this support, and I'm sure you will convey our uh, immense gratitude to, to the First Lady. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, after that, when we found we, we had the space, the Vice Chancellor was, was so proactive, and he, he loves one so much. He said, why don't you also have a French corner at the library? And we said, of course, why not? Many other countries were there. So I said, if the others are there, we have to have France and online our friends from Asia or from Europe or from even uh, uh, the Americas. We need to be there as well. And they made that happen. It, it's opening today, the French Corner at the library, at the same time as Campus France. So France is coming to you with uh, literature and art and also technology. Uh, I think we have... Uh, Good engineers, I dare say, in France, and good engineering schools that uh, the Uganda students can attend. And you find all this type of documentation at the French Corner, at the library, and of course at the Campus France uh, office. So we are here now, uh, inaugurating, opening up uh, this uh, Campus France Corner. We are hoping that the students from uh, Macquarie will uh, at least visit and see what we have to say, what we have to offer. In my remarks later on, I would like to highlight uh, two points, if you'll allow me to finish off. Number one, you don't need to speak French. It's very important. There's uh, more over 150 programs which are taught in English in many areas. So don't get scared off by the French language. You will learn it with your friends on your time off, but you don't need to master it for uh, your uh, academic uh, courses. Secondly, I think uh, uh, it's very important to say that uh, you will share the, the culture of the French people when you get there. You get to travel, you get, uh, you get around, and you will build a community of alumni. And once you're there, back uh, to Uganda, you will be members of the French family. You will be one of ours. And I'm hoping that you will speak uh, highly and positively of France and share your passion for my country, which of course I have in my blood, uh, with your friends here in Uganda, and that our relationship will be strengthened. Uh, the friendship is a word which many people use and sometimes don't, don't mean it. I like to say that our friendship is extremely real. Uh, I would like to highlight globally what it means. Uh, I have here Colonel Miklo because we have a military cooperation. We have, of course, French companies, very visible ones, who have set foot here in Uganda, like Total, with the old project. So we're there uh, alongside the uh, Ugandan authorities to develop the country. So Gia Satome is also there. So Uganda is attracting a lot of interest uh, for French companies, and we're extremely happy for that. And of course, uh, on, the, on the cultural side, we have uh, many activities at the Alliance Française. We have courses which are taught there at the French school. So we'd like to be more present, more visible, in order for uh, all what we do to, to be shared and known to the Ugandan people. So here I am, uh, people say of me that I'm very passionate. You can see yet again that uh, I am passionate about Campus France. I'm hoping we'll attract not uh, dozens, but hundreds of uh, students uh, in these offices, and that uh, when in one year time or two years time, when we reconvene, we'll be uh, proud to announce that uh, many students went there, actually, to France to study and come back happy. So I thank you for your attention. I would like now to uh, leave the floor to Ms. Kayat to give more details about uh, Campus France. I'm here and I'm excited to see my teacher, Eric Arrow, who wrote here sitting next to me, feeling all very comfortable. <laughs> all of you are here. I think this is a good uh, thing that we are trying to do, and uh, we should work our head around it, work our hearts around it, and uh, something good should come out of it. And, uh, at this point, a better advisory 
Very briefly, ladies and gentlemen, uh, now that all protocol has been observed, I would like to tell you about Campus France briefly. What is Campus France all about? And then I would uh, leave the floor to uh, Ms. Kayan here. She's the executive director of Campus France to give you more detail about what Campus France is all about. Then I will give you a bit of history of this initiative where I have to say that um, His Excellency, the President Mussolini and the First Lady as Minister of Education were instrumental to making this initiative uh, come, come true. And finally, uh, on a wider perspective, I think this is one of the many symbols of the strengthening of the friendship between our two countries, between Uganda and France, and I'm extremely pleased to see this uh, relationship and friendship flourish as the years go by. I have to note that uh, we've never left Uganda. The Embassy of France opened right after the independence of this country, and it has never closed. There's always been an ambassador all throughout the history of Uganda. It shows our commitment to this country from uh, international uh, relations, diplomatic relations, economic relations, but also academic relations. So what is Campus France about? Well, I think the name uh, tells it all. It's about the relationship between uh, the students of Uganda and the universities and the world of academics in France. How can we have many more Ugandan students, scholars, coming to France and study what we have to offer? I will have to say a word later because you may be scared off by the very tricky and complicated yet beautiful French language that you learn that this is not a requirement and everyone is welcome to France to study pretty much uh, any topic you like in English. So now that this is uh, in the open, uh, you're going to listen to me more carefully, I'm hoping. So Campus France has been around for many years. Uh, Mrs. Cayet will tell you the history of Campus France. But uh, the, the entire purpose of opening a corner here in the University of Makerere, I need to tell you there is another one at the Alliance Française, is to have a place to welcome all the students who pick an interest in France and especially who want to go there for a few months, for a few years, and, uh, and, and study in France among a very international community of students that you'll find uh, in, in my own country. It's not only Paris also, it's many universities scattered all over the territory of France and uh, the lucky of you who will get the chance to go there may find universities in the south where the weather is going to be pretty much the same as here, maybe even hotter in the summer, in Aix-en-Provence for example, where many universities are based, there are some in Brittany, my homeland in France and of course in Paris and its surroundings. Mrs. Taylor will tell you the details. But let me take you back in time uh, for a moment. Campus France has been wanted to uh, set foot in Uganda for many years. But if it was not by the presidential visit of President Museveni and the First Lady Janet Museveni in September 2016, meeting at the time the President Francois Hollande, we would not be here today. They met. I have to say that they even went to the place where Campus France has its offices and many of the students from all over the world are gathered. They went there, it's a beautiful building uh, of a part of Paris which is very interesting and very lively. They spent time there and they came back home saying we want to have Campus France in Uganda. They expressed very clearly this interest to President Hollande who clearly said we shall support this initiative and make it happen. They were even more explicit. They said, we have areas where we want especially students to come and study in France. And those areas were tourism, journalism, the military, and later on was added even agriculture to the mix. And we feel we have something to bring, or at least something to share with Ugandan students and the know-how in these fields. As you know, I'm going to be proud of being French for one second. Where you are in your studies. Uh, you have to have the equivalent of what we call in French baccalaureate. So at the end of the, your high school, you get a diploma. So I don't know exactly what's uh, the equivalent of this diploma. But 
if you want to go for higher education, you have to have the diploma of hand up. You have to be graduated for, from high school. Or if you want to uh, learn for a master, you have to have your, your bachelor. And if you want a PhD, and I forgot to say that you can do a PhD also in English, you have to, to be graduated with a bachelor. So it's either bachelor, master, or, or PhD, like uh, I would say anywhere. But I think what is important is just to find your own program. So meaning, uh, what, what is the best program applying and better to you to what you want to do, what you have already studied, and find your own program. And we are here to help you find a good program and to help you apply. There's also vocational training that doesn't require uh, academic studies, but are more for tourism industry, say, or uh, uh, cuisine, uh, cooking schools, and things which are very practical in order to help the tourism industry in Uganda. And for these ones, you don't need a very high level of, uh, of education, or even, even, even university is not necessarily required. Uh, you can apply for those. The spectrum is extremely wide. You can have something very practical, vocational training, even you know, in, in electricity or, or plumbing, anything to do up to uh, engineering, and all the way up to PhD and an extremely high level of education where you can, uh, you can study there and, and have your memoir uh, issued uh, in France. So the, the spectrum is extremely wide. We are, we are here at the University of Macquarie, we also at the Alliance Française, but it's open even to students who are not attending the University of Macquarie. They can come and get the information at the Alliance or here. But the very moment you, you get your uh, high school uh, first level, I don't know if it's O level, L level, uh, uh, A level, okay. As soon as you're there and you want to, to go into something very practical, you can also go to, to France to get that. For example, let's say the oil industry, which is also one of interest to, uh, to the president and the minister of, of education, you can have very specific technical jobs which are going to be needed in Uganda for the pipeline, for example, or for operating uh, the, oil, uh, the oil plants. And these skills are, are very technical and they can be acquired in France because Total is there and there are many schools there. Of course, there'd be some also help here, Total um, are pushing them in any case to transfer this know-how here in Uganda. But that's also, for example, an area where uh, it doesn't require high-level diploma, it requires a, a program in your head, a vision as to what you want to do, a career plan, and then you can find uh, what's available in English or in French back in France in these very technical areas. France. I traveled in many countries, but it's the first time, my first time in Uganda. And first of all, I must say I'm very impressed. You know, when I met personally, uh, we had a meeting, as the ambassador said, with uh, Your Excellency, the President of Uganda, Mr. Yuri Museveni, and the First Lady, Minister uh, of Education, Janet. And she really, both of them, you know, as the ambassador said, they spent a long time, we had a personal meeting of more than one hour, I don't know if Seth is here somewhere, he can testify. Uh, and it was very important because they say we, we, have, to, uh, we have to send uh, some uh, Ugandan students to France, we have to tighten the links between France and Uganda, and so you see one, one year and something later, it's done, and so I, of course, I, I would like to send, as the ambassador said, the president and his uh, wife, the, the first lady, and the uh, Macau University for opening here a uh, campus friends uh, office and also a French corner at the library. So, two words about France and uh, France, and why should you choose France? You know, we, we have a president, Mr. Macron, who says to uh, French foreign companies, come to France, choose France. And he says the same thing for our students. Choose France. Why should you choose France? First of all, you have to say that we are the number one country in welcoming African students. So it's important. But we are not the first country in welcoming Ugandan students. Because Ugandan students, so far, they first go to Great Britain, they go to the uh, United States, some of them go to uh, South Africa. 
but there is a we can improve and do much better and we we know that you will be fine in France. Why? As the ambassador said, we we have programs taught in English, so you don't need to speak French to come to France. Of course, if you know some words of French, it's better, but it's a pleasure to speak French. You know, I'm sure you all know to say bonjour or merci or uh, comment ça va. It's very important. You like France, you like French, but it's not a uh, requisite to, to study in France. We have uh, 1,400 programs taught in English in France. This is the first thing. Second thing, which is quite important, you know the French motto, which is uh, liberty, liberté, égalité, fraternité. Liberty, equality, fraternity. What does it mean uh, applied to stu uh, study in France? It means that if you come to France and if you go to a public university, which are at excellent level, you, you will pay the same tuition fees that a French student does. It means equality. And second, you should know that in France, the higher education is highly subsidized by the French government. It means by our taxes. And uh, we pay for the French students and we pay for the foreign students. What does it mean exactly? It means that if you want to do a master in France, you will pay roughly one million uh, shilling, uh, Ugandese shilling. But in fact, you should know that it costs 62 million uh, Ugandese shilling for one year for one student. So it's important to say that, in fact, studies in French are very high quality, but they are subsidized by the French government. And it's a uh, Really, uh, it's because we want to attract uh, foreign students, international students. We think it's important because it's a basis of friendship between two countries, you know. And also, uh, they know our culture, they know a bit of French, they know, as the ambassador said, French life, you know. And it's quite important. They are the best ambassadors. There is a French ambassador, but they are also the students, and they are also very good ambassadors. I'm happy to share my status <laughs> with Ugandan students. <laughs> exactly. So uh, you can live in English. You, you, you can study in English. You are highly subsidized. So it's, it, you, it's as if you get a scholarship. Every student in France gets a scholarship from the French government. Introduce the Makere University team that is present here. We have uh, the Guild President. He will mention his name and then he will also introduce our speaker. Thank you.